Hello and welcome to today's lesson where I will take you through the topic of angles. What do you understand by the term angles? An angle is formed when two lines meet at the point of intersection or at the point where the two lines meet. That is where an angle is formed. For example, I have two lines uh, down here. We have line AB or line BA and we also have line BC. I want to join the two lines to form an angle. So just watch what I'll do and you'll understand what is an angle. So line AB or BA is the top line here and I want to bring line BC and join the two together. So I take line BC, this line here and bring it here and then try to join it like that. So now we have line an angle which has been formed now by joining line a b and b c are formed an angle which is called angle a b c so after joining the two lines that is line a b and b c we have formed an angle a b c and to identify the angle that you have formed the middle letter the one at the middle here letter b is the one that identifies that angle so our angle we can short call it angle b so angle abc has been formed after line ab and bc have met at point b so the angle itself is formed at point b so now to measure an angle we use a protractor and we measure in degrees so this angle of ours we can call it angle abc we measure this angle using a protractor and in units known as degrees so in the next topic i will teach you the four types of angles four main type of angles that we have welcome back we have four types of angles the first type of angle is called acute angle this is the smallest angle that is formed an acute angle is less than 90 degrees any angle that is less than 90 degrees is referred to as an acute angle and 90 degrees is as you can see at number two a right angle you can first go to a right angle so that we can understand what is an acute angle so a right angle is an angle that is exactly 90 degrees like this angle here this is 90 degrees so a right angle is exactly 90 degrees then when you come back to an acute angle we are saying that it is less than 90 so what does that mean because we know 90 is for example in this first angle here we know 90 should stretch up to up to here you can see this one is less than 90 it's smaller than 90 that's why we are calling it an acute angle so because 90 is supposed to be a square it's supposed to be up to here but this angle we, which is formed here is less than 90 so it's an acute same to this angle here you know 90 is supposed to be up to somewhere here and the angle formed here is less than 90 so an acute angle is less than 90 looking at the third one it's also less than 90 so if we measure you'll find this one is like 10 degrees this one will be like 30 degrees or that something and this one we shall find that it is maybe 60 degrees so an angle that is less than 90 is referred to as an acute angle <coughs> the third type of angle after an acute and a right angle is referred to as an obtuse angle an obtuse angle is more than 90 degrees but less than 180 degrees so 180 degrees is the angle formed by a straight line a straight line has got 180 degrees so if I just draw a straight line a straight line it has 180 degrees and if you look at these angles here they are more than 90 and they are less than 180 what does that mean if you try to measure this one you'll find that it has surpassed 90 degrees which is supposed to be here so it's more than 90 because you can see it's greater than 90 but it is less than 180 because 180 is supposed to be up to where a straight line is formed so this angle which is more than 90 and less than 180 is referred to as an obtuse angle so an angle that is more than 90 but less than 180 degrees is referred to as 
an obtuse angle. So these three angles formed here are all obtuse. If we measure this one, you'll find that it's like 100 degrees. It has passed 90. It's like about 100 degrees. This one you'll find is like 120 degrees or 120 something. And this one you'll find it is 100 and maybe 150. So an obtuse angle will be more than 90, but to be less than 180. Then we have the last type of angle, which is called the reflex angle. It's the largest. It's more than 180 degrees, but less than 360 degrees. 360 degrees are angles at a point, or angles formed in a circle. When you draw a circle and then you put a point, all the angles which are around this circle, they make up 360 degrees. So when you talk of a reflex angle, it is more than a straight line, which is 180, but it is less than 360. You can see here, it is the angle formed outside here. So all of this outside angle here, this one there, that is the one we are referring to as a reflex angle. And we expect it to be more than 180, but less than 360. So for us to be able to measure this, we need to measure the inner one, the inner acute angle, then we subtract from 360 to get the obtuse angle. The second one is also a reflex because you can see it's a very large angle, it's more than a straight line, but it is less than a circle, angles in a circle which is 360. So the third one the same, it's more than 180, 180, it is less than 360. So in a summary, we have said that there are four types of angles. That is an acute angle, which is less than 90 degrees. And all these three angles are acute angles. And then we have a right angle, which is exactly 90 degrees. We have an obtuse angle, which is more than 90, but less than 180. And we have a reflex angle, which is more than 180, but less than 360. So in the next lesson, we shall now be measuring angles using a protractor. So don't miss our next lesson where we are going to have a fantastic lesson of measuring these angles using a protractor. See you in the next lesson.